Graham Healy from Healy's Health and Fitness, Healy's Health and Fitness.com. CrossFit. CrossFit is complete BS. Pretty harsh statement, isn't it? Now, why do I say CrossFit's complete BS? Because anyone who understands anything about exercise science knows that you have to periodize and cycle your training. Any athlete knows that, who's, who's a professional athlete such as I am, knows that cycling of your training program is absolutely essential to get an end goal. And CrossFit doesn't do that. What it does is merge everything together. Olympic weightlifting thinks it's a cardio uh, exercise, which it completely isn't, and all these other stupid protocols that they use. Now, the reason why I say this is because the injury line going to rehab is getting bigger and bigger. I'm hearing of people that are totally ripping their rotator cuff uh, muscles off the shoulder and all this sort of thing, and knee injuries and uh, repetitive strain injuries. They've got it all wrong. And uh, the reason why I say that is uh, I'm 60 years of age. I've been training for 40 years. I'm formerly an Olympic weightlifter, Queensland titles, 1976. My coach was Neville Perry, two times Olympian Rome and Mexico Games. Uh, I'm an eighth stand in martial arts, 15 years with Koreans, uh, doing all the jumping kick and all the so-called cross-training. I know what cross-training is all about. CrossFit's nothing to do with the correct protocols. Also, I've got a diploma in sports coaching and uh, diploma in fitness as well and I teach the fitness courses, so I do know what I'm talking about. Now you go on to Healy's Health, I've got a full page dedicated to CrossFit is complete BS. Recently, I had a martial arts student join uh, my organisation. He's a CrossFit instructor. Did a weekend course to teach Olympic weightlifting. Cost him 700 bucks. When I was Olympic weightlifting, it took us 365 sessions in 12 months before we went to the Queensland titles. That was training under the watchful eye of an actual real Olympian weightlifting coach. Now we did zero cardio because we're focused with strength. As much weight as we could lift above our head. So, you know, I was a moderate lifter. I could squat um, four Olympic plates either side, full bum to ground squatting. Uh, in the uh, Queensland tiles, I lifted three Olympic plates over the over the top, uh, clean and jerk, and two Olympic plates either side for a, a proper snatch. So I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to Olympic weightlifting. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Also, I've, uh, as an amateur boxer, I've fought uh, professional fighters as an amateur boxer. So I understand what boxing and the protocols for boxing is all about. As a martial arts instructor, I uh, spent 15 years with Korean instructors with the, with the Taekwondo and the jumping kicks and all that. So I understand what cross-training, it's not cross-fit, cross-training is all about. So go, in, go on to healyshealth.com, have a look at my page and I'll analyse it for you. And I don't just criticise cross-fit for criticising it. I know what they're fundamentally doing is scientifically incorrect. It is damaging to the people who are actually doing it. And a lot of people follow stuff without even knowing what they're doing because they're sheep. Three sorts of people in the world, I always say, sheep, shepherds, and shearers. The sheep just follow. They'll follow any silly thing. And like lemmings, they'll jump across the cliff and into the, into the water and drown themselves or injure themselves without any second thoughts about it. Now the injury list is getting very, very long and foreboding with CrossFit. Now, I certainly wouldn't go there. And yet, I still do Olympic weightlifting. I'm still boxing. I'm still doing jumping kicks. Uh, I've got uh, my martial art classes and what have you. We don't even go anywhere near anything uh, representing CrossFit. Cross training, yes. Periodization of training, yes. Cycling of training, Yes. Correct stretching protocols? Yes. There's a different way to do it. So if anyone out there is doing CrossFit and you're finding yourself that you're, you're injured, that you've got repetitive strain injuries and all this, you're doing what you're doing is wrong right across the board. And I'll stand by what I say 
because I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Now, if you want to do it right, go onto my website, healyshealth.com. Have a look at the page on CrossFit is complete BS and why. I don't just say it's complete BS. I give you why it is, scientifically, energy systems wise. And also I give you a solution. How do you periodize your training? How do you get the best results for the end goal? The main criticism I have of CrossFit is they mix strength and think it's cardio and they mix it all up together and you know that is a, a goal with no goals. They don't have an end goal. If you're training for a sport or you're training for whatever you're doing, be it swimming, rugby league, boxing, martial arts, there is a specific way to periodize each of your bits of training so that it doesn't clash with each other. You separate the strength training, you do the cardio training, blending it all together will never work. It will never work until hell freezes over. So have a look at the article, give me some feedback, and uh, I'll stand by anything that I say because I know what I'm saying is correct because I've actually done it all that um, I'm, I'm talking to you about. So, uh, Graham Healy, over and out, a little bit con con controversial I suppose, but I want to save some people out there that are going to injure themselves unnecessarily. And I do specialise in lower back injuries uh, because I've had lower back injuries. So have a look at my website on lower back injuries and stay safe and train safe and we will see you very shortly. Right here with you. Over.